Hey everyone, evening and welcome. If you're catching this, you're probably catching my replay and thank you very much for tuning in and watching my replay and I, I hope you take, uh, take something away from it and learn a, a hint or a trick or take a little nugget from it um, and I, I really do appreciate your support. So if you're watching me live, you will see the live symbol um, and you have me live. So I go live every Friday night at 8.30 um, and my name is Amanda Fitzgerald and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. So welcome, welcome, as I said. So it's fun Friday. It's the end of the week um, and it's time to chillax and do some crafting. So um, what else do I have to say? I, I don't know. I think I, I feel like I've, I, ha I have missed a week of live. I have, yes. So I'm a little bit out of practice. So as you jump in, say hello. Um, and I just saw Bev. Hey, Bev, how are you? Glad you could make it for Friday night card making. All right. I've got it up on my um, iPad now. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So I love... Um, uh, bringing to you stamping up products and showing you what you can do with them and i've got some brand new product coming to you today and it's the rhino ready um hey lisa how are you glad you could make it yes yeah, so i'm going to be playing with the rhino ready um the rhino ready stamp set and the rhino ready dies now this is new to stamping up new product but it's actually also hey louise how are you it's actually also part of their online exclusives so stamping it stamping up is now starting to release product periodically i think it's about three times a year um online uh so it will be not in a catalog so i think to help you guys out i will say this is online only um and if not you can find it in a, in a catalog um so i am happy to send out catalogs so if you don't have a current demonstrator at the moment and you would love to see the catalogs i'd love to send them um, out to you uh they're free of charge um that's a, my gift to you i i think they're a beautiful catalog i've actually got mine here and i was actually a little bit late jumping on because i actually had someone asking me about weirdly something i was going to use tonight and i was flicking through this catalog um, trying to find them um, and I was a little bit late but yes so at the moment we have the un annual catalogue and we have a mini, mini catalogue running as well now these ones are actually uh, running these ones are coming to an end so this one ends at the end of April and this one ends at the end of April as well yeah I'm pretty sure it does about the first couple of days in May so I've actually been sending around messages and been putting on my Facebook page I think I have um, just to get in it like if you have things on your wish list that you would like from either the annual catalog or if you like these catalogs there's still time so there's still time to get these catalogs so I'm happy to send them out to you please do let me know and I'll get them out to you but if you have things on your wish list that you wanted to get, I'd get in. Um, there is qu quite a number of lines that are on low inventory, um, which probably means that they will sell out before the catalogue ends. And that very often does happen when a catalogue's ending. Um, yeah, so anything on your wish list, I'd be ordering sooner rather than later. Um, like I say, we do have about six weeks left on it, give or take. Um, but they can sell out sometimes uh, sooner than the catalogue ends um not always but i just have noticed that things are on low inventory um yeah so and then of course when this catalogue ends we get a new annual catalogue which is exciting but yes yeah, so they will be i'm going to save that page because now that i've found those things i'm working with i'll show you later uh they are doing these online only products so you'll see them in the online store uh, you can, there's a banner at the moment uh, flicking across in the um, online store, in my online store, via Stamping Up, um, and they're called online exclusives, so you can check them out there. Um, it also, if you go to the menu, um, it also is in the menu bar as well once that banner goes. So, yeah, online. And look, if anything is if, if anything that is online is available to buy. So sometimes very often in a catalogue, they may be out of stock and you don't actually know until you go online. But if it's online, it's good to go. So, so it is exciting because we get more product 
coming out um, more often because they don't have to wait for a catalog to launch it so that is exciting stuff so yes yeah, so I'm using the new Rhino ready um, I have been playing with it already uh, this evening just before I went live um, and it's 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 really cute um, and the dyes that come with it make some beautiful trees um, that can go with a lot of other pro products a lot of the other animal products I think um, that stamping up ha is selling it has is selling now or as previously sold so um, will go well with some of your things in your stash yeah so that's really good news um, like I say if you would like to shop with me um, I love giving back to my customers, so any orders that you do of $50 or more, I love to send out a thank you gift to my customers. So um, just be sure to use my free gift host code, um, and then I will get you that little thank you gift out as well for shopping with me. And as always, the best deal is joining Stamping Up. So I have a team, I have a great team of crafters, um, and we get together once a month. We actually get together once a month on Zoom. So it doesn't matter where you are in Australia. Um, and it's actually on a Friday night. So I have a Friday fun night for my team as well. Um, and we talk all things stamping up. So um, what's the best value uh, for your money and, and little hints and tips um, for stamping up. And then we do some um, creative time together. So it is always fun. Um, so you can join stamping up for $169, but for that $169, you get $235 worth of product. So you get some free product in there. So you get to pick $235 worth of any product um, that you like, and it will only cost you $169. And then you also get free shipping on that first starter kit order. So it was always the best deal um, that they have going. So if you're interested in joining, please let me know. Um, there is a catch, <laughs> you know, but it's not a huge catch. Um, I'm always very transparent with that. So you, you once you join, and you get your starter kit, then you start to get 20% off your orders. And if you want to maintain, um, if you want to maintain that 20%, then you just need to spend about $126 a month. So it works out over a quarterly minimum. Um, so you, it, I always just say, if you spend $126 a month, then that keeps you active. So that um, keeps you active and you, you maintain your 20% um, discount. You don't have to sell, you don't have to host parties, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I have lots of hobby demos in my um, in my team and they just joined purely to get the 20% discount off their crafting supplies. And then if you find that you have joined and you really don't want to spend um, that $126 anymore, that's when I started sharing it with people <laughs> and then I remained active and um, I, I keep my 20% discount because I've... I've got support of others, which is awesome. Um, and I, I love having customers in my team. So, um, yeah, but if you don't want to maintain your discount um, and then you just go back to being a customer, you, there's no penalties, there's no locking contracts, there, there's nothing to say you have to do anything. Um, so then you just go back to it being a customer. So it's no problems whatsoever. So if you're interested in that, please let me know and I can send you some information on that or answer any questions that you have. All right, let's get into some crafting. I might just say some hellos. So we've got, hey, Kathleen, Maria, so nice to see you on here. Um, Martha and Angela, awesome, cool. All right, so let's get onto this Rhino Ready. I shall flip the camera and we will we'll get going. Cool. All righty. Oh, Daisy. Oh, how about I show you the ceiling again? There you go. Just cause, hey. All right, that looks all right. There's the ceiling. <laughs> it's a bit delayed there. Okay, now I will make sure that I. I'll actually try and move it down a little bit so that. Let's see how that goes. Wait for the computer to catch up. All right, I'll just move this one down a little bit. So this is uh, my website, so Amanda Fitzgerald, uh, dot stamping up dot net. So if you go to there and you hit shop now, um, that's when you can shop in my online store. Um, and my free gift host code for this month is this here. I do include that host code in my links. So if you click on one of my links and you want to shop with me, hey Gail, how are you? Um, then 
the host code will already be attached and that means you'll get a thank you gift from me if you spend over $50 so yeah this is actually I had someone ask me about the um oh these can't, now I can't think what they're really called um the natural tone stamping up blends so these here you get them in um they're very good for coloring in animals um trees uh like just anything where you need like skin color um, yeah, so our customers just asked me. So they're on page 128 and you can buy them in all of our Stampin' Blends and I have a few of them out at the moment. Um, come in a pack of two. So you have a light one and a dark one. These are a little bit different um, and I actually, where is my sheet? They actually, these are the skin tones. Um, I do a little swatch i think they call them the swatch of my colors and these are in numbers whereas your other ones actually say sweet and dark sorry light and dark um but i do a little color thing so i know when i'm coloring in what the color actually looks like yeah but i had a um i had a customer actually ask me about them and she couldn't find them in the catalog so they're in the annual catalog on page 128 yeah so that's cool so like I say, product I'm using tonight is online only. Um, but if you're interested in ordering it, um, you can order it online and you can pay with either credit card or PayPal um, and it gets directly sent to you. Um, but I'm happy to place orders for people too if online is a little bit daunting for them. But it is the way to go um, because you get to look around yourself and, and look at the products. And these are the dyes, so they're pretty cool. And I've actually got, I've actually been mucking around with them and trying a few things. So I've got some of them die cut out here, um, some of the leaves. Now what I've done with these, um, the treetops and the leaves, I don't know whether you can see, yeah, you can actually see it. I've actually used an embossing folder just to give them a more um, embossed look, give them more of a tree, tree look. Um, Hey Angela, I don't know whether I said hello to Angela, but I think I did, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, and these are the little trees that you can put your little tree tops on top. So pretty cool. And then um, it also cuts out, and of course, it has been, I've been working on a note card. Um, it cuts it, where's our stamps? Let me put down these. I was actually gonna stick them down those dies. Um, and I didn't think of actually I actually um, follow a lady called Patty Bennett. She's over in the States. Hey, Dimity, how are you? Um, and she actually was saying when she gets her dyes now, she does this and she die cuts um, all the dyes out and lays them on a sheet, sheet and keeps them with her catalogue. Um, and then she kind of knows what each die did. And I actually, it was good that I did it because I got very confused and I was trying to figure out what this is. I'm thinking, is it a trunk? And I'm thinking, oh, rhinos don't have trunks. And anyway, this is great. It's a party popper. And I thought, oh, that will work with so many other things too. So, And then it has a die to cut because, of course, it had this die as well. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Anyway, then I figured that out, that that cuts out the party popper. And then there's a party hat. Um, but that you can't stamp the party hat. But party hat just worked out fine just to chop out so yeah so let me finish off in tr amanda's true good form i'm using my one of my favorites um note card packs which is the hey sam how are you oh thank you that's awesome yeah um, and i'd love if if you know anyone that loves crafting and may you you know may love um stamping up and card making and scrapbooking i also do scrapbooking from time to time as well uh please do share it with your friends um that would be lovely i'd really appreciate that thank you sam yeah so um craft note cards and envelopes i'm using these which you know they come with an envelope and then they come with your pre-scored card so they're great um and there's 20 of them in that packet so i'll get a i didn't get an envelope out so we'll get that envelope out just fold that one over and then I've got an envelope. I don't need my them at the moment, so we'll just they will be later colouring him in. So I was just I just coloured him in with some um which which blends did I use? I used um smoky slate, that's right. So I coloured him in and then 
I might actually put him on. I actually thought these leaves, tree bunches, whatever you want to call it, um, would also make good grass or hills or whatever. So I thought what I might do is I might put these down the bottom. Oops. Or like that. Hang on, what we'll do is I'll just, I might just put a little bit of glue on this one. Yeah, I tend to work down the bottom of my page, my bottom of my table and off the camera. That's why I've moved down a bit tonight. So I'll put that one on there. Oh, so all I've, I've obviously I've done my craft note card. I've put a bit of black, um, black basic black cardstock, and I've actually got out tonight too because I I was feeling like using these colours. I got out the 2022 and the 2024 um, six by six uh, designer series paper because I actually wanted to use uh, this parakeet party uh, for some of the leaves because I like how bright it is, and I got out all. This is the awesome thing about stamping up is everything coordinates. So you can then you can get the blends. Look at them, that blend. It's a beautiful colour. So you can get the blends to match all your cardstock and the designer series paper as well. Um, and ink pads and markers and, and they all come in the same, same colours, which makes it easier for you. Yeah, so I thought I might, might just... Either sit him on top or, I don't know, I was making it up as I went along. I might just put that in there. So we'll just get some glue on that one. So the card, the main card that I'm doing tonight um, is actually a case. They call it a case, but it's actually a copy um, of one of uh, uh, Patty Bennett's cards. So... I loved it so much, I thought, oh, I'm going to give that one a go. And I thought, I'd give it a go live tonight, why not? <laughs> we'll just get some um, dimensional. So these are just some foam foam adhesive sheets, sh um, foam adhesive thing. They're called dimensionals and they just give, they pop, they pop your thing up. So, but stamping up, call them dimensionals. Whoops. And I have had lots of people, well, I've had two people um, ask about my take a, take take your pick tool. Awesome tool. I can't do without it when I'm crafting. In fact, I've even, my end, I, I don't know what I've done with it, but I think I've been a bit heavy handed there. But I have a spare as well. <laughs> I mainly have a spare because I always lose one. Now, where is my hat? Here it is. And I'm just going to glue that on there and I'm going to put it on sideways. So I actually, um, like I did with the, like I said, I would use, you don't have to die cut cardstock. I actually die cut designer series paper as well. So I've done this out of designer series paper, his little hat. And what I might do is I might put a little dimensional under that. So they come in the bigger and the littler. The little ones, so I'll just get one of those little ones and we'll turn this card around and it might be just a little bit too big. Hey, we'll see. No, it'll be just fine, I think. I think we can just hide it under there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's cool. Yeah, and then I was going to put happy birthday on it, or it's it's a great day. Hope your birthday is wild. You're stronger than you think. You're built tough. Hello, friend. I think it's going to have to be hope your birthday is wild because I put a party hat on him. <laughs> hey, Nola, that's all right. We've only, I've only just started, so you haven't really missed much. I'm just doing my, my token note card that I very often do. Now, I think... I think I'm going to stamp directly on this and I might, I'm going to use some Memento. So some Memento Tuxedo Black, which is a very, um, a really good black ink to use. And then we will try and do it straight, straight as a is. 
and there we go and then we'll need a little bit of bling I think on that card so I've got um, oh, I might even use these ones these are oh yeah they are the twist so it's see how I said about coordinating there's the coordinating it's just I've used all the red I've used all the sweet sorbet ones but that is then the matte decorative dots that go with the in color so which I will use the this Tahitian tide they call that one which is that blue kind of color so we will put um I think we'll just have some little ones all over the card that one and then one up here just three and three is enough for that little card and then just clean that off now you will probably need to put a center in there so I just use a little bit more of some white cardstock now where is mine oh, here we go. I did do a bit of crafting today too on my day off which was lovely Actually had a friend come over and we crafted together which was awesome okay that's that and we'll just put a couple of lines and trim that down no measuring with me not very often anyway and I always save those bits Put them over to the side, hey, make a mess of my room as per usual. And we will put a little stamp on this as well. We'll grab our, our rhino back again. Now, I haven't cleaned that, so I'll just clean that one. There we go. And, oh, we might just put some grass in here. Let's use some grass. And we'll use our Parakeet Party. There we go. Just a bit of grass inside the envelope. I mean, inside the card. Anyone crafting tonight? Anyone crafting along while they're listening along? Or has anyone got this stamp set yet? Has anyone managed to get this stamp set yet? It is fairly new. Then again, I don't think I kind of bought it straight away, so... And if you're not crafting tonight, are you... Have you got some time on the weekend to craft? Ah, oh, Nola's crafting. Awesome. And Angela's doing some scrapbook pages. Beautiful. There we go. And then, so there's our card done. I love these note cards. And then I'll grab some coordinating, sorry, the, the, yeah, the coordinating colour to go on my envelope. So we'll go here. And then all I do is put that envelope down because I want to use the same flower kind of thing. Lay that there. Get some glue. And always make sure you go right up to the top there so that it sticks your top down. I actually did one today and I forgot to do that and it kind of has come away just a little bit. But that's all right. And then butt it up against your piece of paper and then just turn it over. And this just gives um, a bit. now you could stamp also you could stamp on your um on your on your envelope but you could also use your design says paper but I think it's a sin <laughs> and look I do do it myself but it is a sin to send an, a naked envelope you need to make sure your card stands out in the mail Oh, that's what I think anyway. So, and then you could also do, so I just love to do, do, do. I'm going to put our little rhino on the front as well. 
Hey Glenda, how are you? Uh, Martha, going to order next week and I will craft tomorrow a wedding. Not good with my ideas. Ah! Flick through the catalogue, Martha, and it just gives you some ideas of some wedding cards. Yeah, Do, was you... So you're making the wedding card tomorrow. Cup of time for Dimity. Yeah. I'm here if you... If you I, I might think about it, Martha, hey, and send you some ideas of some stamp sets. Um, I've been getting sentiments ready for up-and-coming cards. Awesome. A little bit of bulk bulk card making. And Dimity, no, I haven't yet. Love the trees. You're just home from your baseball. Cool. All right. So there we go. How cool is that? And then you've got your back as well. So there's our first little note card. All right, now we'll get on to our main card. Oh, I just nearly lost my scissors in the wrong hole. I think, did I clean that? I need to get a new sheet of this camera. Yeah. Let me, oh, as I've done that, I thought, oh, I'm not, I did buy my new one. <laughs> I thought, did I, buy? I knew I was new, I knew I was due for one. There we go. All right. All right, so we're going to start off with... Now, I'm just going to think about what I was going to start off with. Some Granny Apple. Some Granny Apple Green. And I mustn't have any more because I'm opening a new packet. As I'm looking. Yep, I've opened it, so I might have more. Cute card. Oh, thanks, thanks, Sam. I think all of them are cute with this rhino. Who doesn't love animals? Okay, so we'll get that one. I think you've got to love some, some sort of animal, don't you? If you're not a dog person, you're not a cat person, you know, there's something. Okay, so we're going to cut this one. So I'm going to use a full sheet of A4 and I'm going to cut it at 10.5 centimetres. So straight up. And then I'm going to score it at 14.8. Put that one away. Now what I will do too is uh, because this is because this stamp set is online only. When I do um, post my link, hopefully after this live or sometime over the weekend, um, I will give you the item, their product code for the bundle. So, um, but I'll, I can give you the product code for the bundle and then also um, the individual products. That's what I was about to say. Okay, all right, so that's that there. And we're actually going to use some of this paper. It is called, and this is um, online as well. So this is part of the online exclusive range. And it comes in copper, gold, silver, and very vanilla. And it's called Naturally Gilded um, 12 by 12 Designer, Specialty Designer Series Paper. Um, so that item code is 161639. I felt like I was calling bingo then. <laughs> and we're going to use, I like this one too. But, oh, see, so oh, look, oh, that's pretty too. Look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, have you got this paper, Martha? This, this is beautiful, possibly for a, a wedding card, the silver. There's an idea. All right, so we get this one out. Okay, and then this is going to run with a, a centimetre each side. So it's 10.5, so we want to cut this one at 8.5. Yep, let's see how that runs. 8.5. Yeah, 8.5 centimetres. Oh, that might be a little bit too. Oh, no. Yep, I like that. Yep, 8.5 centimetres. Um, and then we want it to be at 14.8, which is the same. Oops, I used the wrong one there. Same as your length of your card. And then we're going to get our blending brushes. Okay. 
put that there. Put that there. Blending brushes. So we're going to grab our blue, my blue blending brush and um, a green. Actually, I'll use two of the bigger ones. I've got bigger one green here. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to use um, a bit of Tahitian Tide. Sorry, not Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party. And, and Tahitian Tide. Yes, because the Tahitian Tide's for the sky. So we're going to have the grass and the sky. So we're going to grab, we'll do the grass first. No, I don't have those papers, but yes, I love it. Yeah, I, just as I picked it up. But I'll try and give you some, try and think about it. So then we're just going to, with the blending brush, blend onto this designer series paper. Now, as I do this, because this silver is shiny, probably won't stay on the silver which I don't want it to stay on the silver but um, I don't want it to come off on anyone's hands so what I'll do is after I blend this I will wipe over it with the tissue so that's our parakeet party and then on the other side we will do some Tahitian Tide and always make sure that when you put it on your ink just rub it off onto a piece of paper for, uh, first before you go onto your paper. Sometimes it will get quite splodgy. That's a technical term. <laughs> and then we just blend that one on. And with, with the blending brushes, you can do it as head, like you can, the more you put on, the darker your color will be. So there we go. That looks beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to have a little sip. What do you think? It looks nice, hey? Watch the rest later. No problems. You need to get the DSP. Yes. Have a nice night, Sam. Oh, hey, Mary. I don't know if you're still there, but thank you, Mary. Yeah doing some fun work yep I love my crafting <laughs> super cool um, I hope I haven't been missing comments I think I've got everything oh yeah Lisa says not yet but it is on my wish list <laughs> those wish lists are huge hey Lisa I know mine is <laughs> um, and Kathleen's scrapbooking, I did make. Oh, and Bev's making some thank you cards. I did miss heaps. How did I miss so much? Um, that's awesome. I'll just flick back through. Awesome. Yep. Okay, now, do I have a bit of tissue in here? What's that? No, that's not tissue. Oh, I do. Yeah, behind me. I remember. All right, so I just I'll just wipe off um, it off the silver, and that way it won't come off. Once it did just a little bit come off, so and we'll put it the right way up. Okay, we'll put our blending brushes away. Okay, all right. So then that is going to go. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What it looked like. That's all right. Even if it doesn't, it, it might just turn out Amanda's version. I, I remember it. I think. So that is a bug flying. <laughs> I'm gonna move my camera. Um, I'm gonna put it right to the top. It is just missing at the bottom there, but that's okay. So that we can stick down. All right, let's stick that down. Mine sure is. I miss that dimity. <laughs> I was just trying to think about it. And I thought, oh, it's 
probably because I've talked so much. So there we go. So that one goes there. And then we're going to work on our hippo. So our hippo, I want to, I want to use this one because I want to use the one that's walking and he's looking quite happy about himself. So we'll get that one out. And we'll get some... Now, what I find when I'm... Um, oh, we'll put that other one away. When I am using Stampin' Blends to colour in... Um, I'll just stamp it up first. I use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So stamp him down like that. There we go. And we'll clean that one off. Oh, your list, of course. Yes, I get it now. By the time I decide, they will be sold out. Well, just get your real favourite favourites, as they call the must-haves for yourself. And really, if the other ones go, then they maybe weren't meant to be. <laughs> Bless you. I oh, thanks, Louise. Okay, so what I like to do when I am colouring in, I usually just cut around and just have my one. And the reason I do that is just so I can move it quite easily. So, like I said, I've got my, um, I think, what do they call them again? I keep forgetting what they're called. Um, natural tones, of course, because that makes sense. I've got my natural tones for his. And I might actually, I did use the pink on my other one, that kind of really pinky, real light colour. Actually, I might use 800. Now I'm all sniffling. 800. And I don't know actually why Stamping Up did these ones in numbers and actually didn't call them names because they do call everything names really there it is 800 but it doesn't matter as long as you know which color you're picking so we're going to do his his is it is it a tusk for a rhino i don't know his i can't think what it's called now this one here is called a color lifter so what this one does is gives you back a little bit of white if you want a little bit of white somewhere it gives you a little bit more shading back if you want a bit of shading so I might just give that a bit of shading and we'll see how that looks we can always add color down again if you go yeah no I don't like that there we go a little bit of shading just gives you a little bit of now I horn cool that sounds good I've lost sound oh dear hopefully everyone can hear me still might be better without sound. You don't have to hear me go on and on. Um, I'm still learning so much about um, alcohol blend colouring in, but I love it. I always recommend colouring in with stamping blends as opposed to markers. They they just give you a, a much nicer colour. So that's the dark and then you have the light. So with the dark, I'm just going to go and do the edges where I'm gonna where I want it to get a little bit of darker tone just like this and I'm actually just following these lines that they have on here I might do his hot the end of his tail and this part and I might even do his eye like that and I might do the just the tops of his his ears <laughs> yeah is. And then with the lighter one, I take the thicker end, like the brush end. Yeah, they would call it the brush tip end. And then what I do is I tend to pull back, like bring my brush back from the edge. You want to stay right around, way away, um, right away from the edge because because they are alcohol blend. Um, they they will run. They they seep. Mm, whatever you want to call it. So we just, I just go along and colour that all. Now you can see all my strokes, but you won't. Once it all blends, 
once it all dries, should I say, you won't see that. And I just turn it again so that I, I, I always feel better flicking back towards myself. But everybody has different now. For his tail, what I should have done was probably turned it around and used the bullet for that. But that's all right. I managed. Parts of him is quite little and petite, so. And then if there's parts where you just want to go back over, you can go back over. And then I will grab the darker one and I'll do his nails um, in the darker. It just looks so happy. Now you can... Now, you either leave white space or you can put some... Oh, hey, Lucia, nice to see you. Um, you can hear me. Awesome. Awesome. Hopefully, you've got sound back. Um, Dimity. So, you can actually take some of the colour out if you so wish. Oh, to make sure that I have got the light. Yep. But it is actually better now I'm just going to blend this a bit more um, and I'm just doing this on normal basic white um, cardstock so that will dry off yeah so it's not any thick and it's not watercolor paper or anything like that what color do we want a bird to be I think we want him to be a light sorbet actually we're going to do light sweet sorbet for his I think it was light I've picked. Oh, and so I'll, I'll, either, I'll either pick light or dark. Oh, now I haven't got, I haven't got to. Let me just see if I can find, here we go. Find a big colour. I've got a big colour here. Daffodil dark. Let's put that one on there. And of course Amanda picked the wrong end, but it was only a little bit. So there we go. And I'm going to give him a parakeet party tail. I don't know what type of bird it is, but it's my type of bird. <laughs> Alrighty, so there he is, and he will he will color he will um dry, and he will look good. Okay, so let me just I think that's all our blending done. So I'm just gonna chuck those down here, yeah, but they're fun blending. I'm just gonna. Oops. Okay, that was a bit of a stretch. Okay. Oh. I'm just going to keep all those natural tones together. So there he is. Now we need some grass. So there's our little our little rhino. We need some grass. So we're going to grab some. Not garden green because we used garden green for the main. So we'll grab some pear pizzazz and I'll have to just cut a piece. Whoops. Oop, go that way, go back that way. I'll just, oh, I'll, I'll just, I'll cut. Cut a little bit. I don't know how much I'm going to use. I'm just cut a little bit at this point. And that, and we'll go. We'll get out of our stamp set the grass, and we will use mossy meadow. Why not? I'm using lots of greens because there's lots of greens in the jungle. That's where this rhino is, in the jungle. There we go. Okay. So we'll do some grass. Now I don't... Um, oh, that'll do. Yeah, of course that'll do. That's it. Just clean that one off. I 
I didn't wet my um I haven't wet my my chamois for a while and it's only really <laughs> it's only wet really in the middle. So I've got to find the wet spot. <laughs> okay, so then we will just actually how about I just measure how much I need, hey? So I want to go how technical is this, eh? Actually, no. Oh, maybe I'll run it right across. Yeah, I might run it right across. So what I might do is I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna run the grass right right across. So we're gonna chop it here. Chop, chop. That's it. Because that's gonna cover my little bit of my mist down the bottom here. Okay, so we get the scissors and we're just gonna not too much into the detail of each and every blade of grass, but a little bit of up and downs. You could be as particular as you wanted. It's apparently going to be very hot in Sydney on Sunday, so it's either a day at the beach for me um, or a day in the aircon crafting. I'm trying to get a bit more um, beach timing before it's um, over. Okay, so there's our grass. And we might just we might just cut this one down a little bit more because and now because I'm going to need somewhere for my rhino to kind of yeah anyway I'll think about that so that's going to go there all right so we're going to now we're going to do some die cutting so we need to cut out my rhino. And just some leaves, really. So all I'm going to do is use, hang on, put this out of the way. I'm going, to, I've got some leaves here already, but I will cut some more leaves out. So we're going to do our rhino. Oops, I've got to find my other plate. Here it is. Um, so out of the dies, we're going to use our rhino, this one. Now, I've just got a little bit of washi tape here. I'm just going to, because it's hard. It's hard because I'm working kind of funny to show you, so, so I can show you on screen. And then we'll get some of these leaves. Oops. Oh, so the other thing I did, I'll show you what I did too. Get these leaves. We'll just get some, we'll use this one. I always try and put multiple things on my my plate, so I'm doing multiple things at once. Um, get my plate. I'll show you what I did with these leaves. So I, and actually, I'll, I'm not using these tonight, but I will show you another little hint. So put them, I'll put that on there. Put that down. This is where I'm going to work backwards, so you can see the emboss machine work. I love. I love these cut and emboss machines. They are awesome. So that's it. So we'll put our little piece of that back there. So we'll put our rhino down. I've actually drew around my dies. I don't all do it that often and tonight I thought, I want to make sure I can just put them back on the sheet and know where they go. So I behaved myself and drew before before I took them off. So see, I've got I've got them ones out of cardstock and I've got that extra one there. Now I'm just going to chop some more because I want some in some of um, this one here. 
they're so pretty these i love them look at the colors in there and then they have a striped spots some flowers um yeah it's beautiful now let me see if i use some that i can there we go there's a bit put them in and we'll do some more leaves I'm going to run that through once and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up at the other end. And I'm going to run it through again. And I'm going to go one more. I just want to make sure I've got enough leaves. One more, one more. And then I'll show you my little trick with the leaves or any kind of, any kind of dye that you want to get a little bit more texture on it. So after you die cut it, Put these ones back after die cut now this probably would mainly work with cardstock so I've got a embossing folder here somewhere that I use holy dooly here it is so this one's called, um, I can't remember. And I'm trying to, oh, I forgot to tell everyone. Maybe you've seen it on my, while I find this, I am having a coffee and card class at a local cafe close to me on the 31st of March. So if you are local, and you would like to come on, so come along. It's fifteen dollars, and you get five dollar beverage of your choice. Amanda will be having a coffee, <laughs> um, and then you get to make two cards from a. I'm actually going to be having that. That kit's going to be with me, the kaleidoscope kit. So you could make two cards from that, but I will have some other card making kits with me as well to sell on the day. Um, but yeah, if you can make it on the 31st of March, it's 9.30 to 11. Everybody is welcome. Yeah, so it'll be my first coffee and card. You got that card set today. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I did some of mine today. Hang on, let me see. You just reminded me. Um, here we go. It is beautiful. Here we go. Hopefully I don't spoil it for you, Louise. <laughs> but here it is. This is a beautiful... So this has everything you need to make eight cards. Okay, so if you'd like to come to my coffee and card, um, if you wanted to let me know soon, I can order one of these for you. Or you can order one and you will get it in time and then I'll help you create these cards. But look at these. And there's the envelopes to match. How beautiful are they? So just because you're so special to me, a lovely thank you one with a different coordinating envelope. I didn't make the last one, I don't think. No, there was one more in this colour that I didn't make. But I made I made quite a few of them today. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. Everything you need, the embellishments and everything, the ink, your block, everything. I'm glad I remembered about letting you know about my coffee and card. Alright, now I found that, here it is, it's called the Fern Embossing Folder, beautiful embossing folder. So once you've die cut them, grab your leaves, not so much like I said the Designer Series, papers, Designer Series Paper one, put them in there and run them through so it's a 3D, so it just needs one. this one plate, this one and the grey one. We just put that in there like that, run it through. Mm. 
and that's what I did with these two. See the extra texture on it? That's done with an embossing folder. So you could use any kind of embossing folder um, and that would do that for you. So, yeah, see that? Let's just put more leaf like. I like that. Okay, so now we'll get our card back. Where is our card? Here it is. And we're gonna, what was our hip? Here's our rhino. I keep going to call it a hippo. So if we probably can put him like that. There we go. That's crude. Or do I want him leaning up more? No, I want him leaning up more. All right, we're going to glue this down a bit down the bottom. There he is. And we're going to put him, I'm just going to put him on the top there. Do I want to, um, no, I'm going to have him flat. So I'm just going to glue him on there. There we go. And then from memory, I think we need, we need a set, we need one of the sentiments and then I'll put the leaves on. Sentiment. Stand set. Where is it? Here it is. Um, I got that card. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh, hi, Carly. How are you? I'm glad you made it on. I think we had a chat today. Yeah. Oh, welcome. Welcome. This is a beautiful set that's available online at the moment. It's brand new. So it's awesome. And Louise, they are beautiful. Can't wait to get mine. Yeah. Oh, they, it is. Hey. They, they are gorgeous, those cards. I realise what you're talking about now. That Yes, that card-making kit. So the card-making kits are, again, another line that are not in catalogues. They're available online. So if you go to my online store um, and you go, you, so if you go to Amanda Fitzgerald or you click on one of my links um, that are on my Facebook page or, or I can send you a link as well. Um, and if you go and you look around in the menu in the top left-hand corner, you'll see online, exclu online exclusives and sales and the clearance rack um, and card making kits. So that's where you can find those card making kits. Now I need a sentiment. Um, I think we're gonna have, it's a great day. Yeah, yeah, it's a great day. So I'm gonna get, it's a great day out. And I'm just trying to think what I actually want to do with this one. I'll put that one there. I think I might just put it on a bit of white cardstock. Yeah. Yeah, white cardstock. I've got a heap of little bits that I'm still using up here. Okay. And we're going to do it in our Tahitian Tide. It's a great day, could be used for anything, but I thought what I'll do is, I do need a birthday card, um, I'll have It's a Great Day and I can always put um, Happy Birthday inside, because it is a great day when it's your birthday. Right, so then we'll just chop this one down. Oops. It's getting quite warm in my craft room at the moment. I think I might run it from that side and then what I'll do is I will chop it here and then I'll chop in the middle as best as I can get it. If you make if you want to make sure that it is the middle, by all means measure it. Because I might be sorry after the fact. Okay. 
And then what we might do is actually, I'm going to grab just a, a little bit of Tahitian tight with that. I might knock here. Sorry, for my card stops behind my light. I've managed. I'm just going to grab a little bit of this, actually, that one. Just gonna chop this. Oh, oh yeah, just do that. How about I just chop the piece that I want? There we go. That's it. I made that a lot dif more difficult than it needed to be. I just wasn't thinking because I want just a little bit. I think underneath this. So I'm just going to border that like that and chop it like that. Just something different. Get a bit of glue. As you know, the glue is great because you've got time to just manoeuvre it around a little bit when you put a bit of glue on. And then that can go on there. And that we will, I'm going to leave to dry for a second, but we will use um, folk, like dim dimensionals for that one. Yeah, so you could also run that one through. Um, see, because that, there's the flat one. And then when you run it through an embossing folder, see how much more it kind of gives you. Yeah, pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Alrighty. So we've got our leaves here. Hang on a minute. And, oh, okay, I better put, I better put that one down so I know where it is. We'll grab some. Oh, what have I done here? It's not coming together. I'm going to use that because that, this has got no top on it. So we're going to use it straight away. sticky won't know once it goes on the card there we go and then I'm just going to put get some glue actually I'm going to use some glue dots we'll use that one bigger one and then I'll put that one up on a dimensional up on one of these little ones and then I'm going to stick that to that again that's come with no no topping on it so it's sticking to everything like that and then we might put another one down here Uh, glue dot on that one. And I'll grab a little one from over here. And we'll use that as a dimensional. And I might put one more up the top there. So we'll go two little ones. Actually, we'll go a big one at the bottom. one and then two little ones and I might leave those ones flat actually a little bit of this and a little bit of that but I think my um, glue dots are ready for my excess bit of tape to be taken off 
I like those leaves. I love those leaves. But like I say, this card was is definitely um, pretty much cased, copied, copy from Patty Bennett. So thank you, Pat, Pat, Patty Bennett, for always inspiring me. Um, I do I do love watching her card making. Yeah, so there we go. I'll put that um, my stamp away. Now I haven't done it. Oh, I haven't done it inside. How cool does that look? That's so sweet. Um, I got to do an envelope. Hang on, let me get my envelope. Because on my envelope, oops, on my envelope I would have. Okay, I definitely need this. In the dots yep we'll go this one oh this is the one the six by six doesn't fit but i actually saw today that someone just did the bottom i'm going to try that I, I don't know where i saw it today obviously somewhere on my facebook page i'm just going to try it i'm just going to do that little let me see what it looks like yeah Having a, I'm having a thought as I'm doing it. So I'm going to do just a little bit of glue. Like that. I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> okay, we'll chop that off. And then I have an idea in my head. Doesn't always work, but we'll see how we go. Oh. It's crooked, but that's all right because what I was going to do. Let's see if I can fix it a bit. It is crooked. <laughs> so that's all right. Grab this. Put that there. A little bit straighter. I have no idea if this is going to work. I just thought it might take the focus off the fact that it's crooked. Or it'll make it look worse. <laughs> That's all right. I think it took the focus off. What does everyone think? Took the focus off a bit? You wouldn't notice if you got it in the mail. That's all right. <laughs> it looks, I think it looks a bit funky. Doesn't matter. You can't really tell when it's put with that cute card, can you? Now, the other thing I would definitely do because I love these hippos is I would, whoops. I put my hippo back on. And I might just use a bit of gray granite this time. Just on the side there. It's original. Yes, that's true, isn't it? No one else would do it like me. It's a unique Amanda card. There we go. Isn't it cute? I like it. I like it. And there's my note card one. There you go. So, like I say, if you don't have a current demonstrator and you'd love some catalogs, let me know. I'd love to get some catalogs out to you. Um, if you love this, like I say, it is only available online. It's an online product, um, and it is available uh, 
as a bundle with with the um with the dies yeah and if you're after your stamp and blends i can't recommend them enough they're so much fun to color in with um yeah so i tried to get like a different effect on this one he looks all right he's got a lot more white space on him yeah super cute all right well have a great night everyone and have a great week ahead have a great weekend first then have a good week stay safe um thank you everyone for joining me it really is nice having people along and and watching me create um so cute love them both bye and yeah you too louise have a great weekend um and i'm here for anyone um thanks lisa i'm glad you enjoyed it yeah so and congratulations lisa yes Lisa um, became a qualified team member today in my team, which is super awesome. Um, and I also had another lady as well. So that's awesome because you actually can build your discount up to 25% as a Stamping Up demonstrator as well. And who doesn't like more discounted product? Um, yeah, no problems, Lisa. Thanks, Bev. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so take care, everyone, and I will see you uh, next Friday night. Bye.